Hey guys, welcome to day 21 of Mishmas. We're starting this one off a little bit differently. We're starting this off in the evening <laughs> in my bathroom. Uh, but the reason why is because I wanted to talk about my evening skincare routine and talk about this Current Body LED mask. So I'm working with Current Body on this video. So a big thank you to them. And I've been using LED masks for a long time now, um, but I've been using this Current Body Mask for a few months now, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy LED light therapy. I think it has done wonders for my skin. This has been a really big year for me, discovering um, skincare devices that work well for me. Like I just talked about the droplet device, that has been really wonderful, a game changer for me. I also talked about the Zip Beauty Nano Current device, that has been great. Um, but the LED mask, is uh, something that I feel like makes really, really long-term changes. It takes a while for me to see the effects of an LED mask, and it's something you have to use pretty religiously. And when I first started using the mask, I would say I was using it like every night, and now I would say, <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit lazy, um, I'm using it every other night. And so long as I keep up like a pretty strict, you know, regimen, I do see a difference, but I have fallen off the LED mask train, I would say probably about a year ago at this point, and I definitely see a difference in my skin. My skin definitely looks duller. My entire complexion just looks a little bit more gray, and you know, it takes a while for me to see the benefits. It also took a while for me to not see the benefits, and so it kind of crept up on me, and I remember thinking, what, <laughs> like, what was I doing differently? I thought maybe, was my diet too poor? And I thought, you know, the only change was that I wasn't using my LED mask as religiously as I was. And then I started using it again. And within a week, I could see that my, my skin, I just looked younger. There's something about LED light therapy that I feel like really turns back the hands of time. And um, if you're unfamiliar with LED light therapy, um, what it does is it basically like tricks your skin into thinking it's being damaged and so it will start to repair itself. So it's really, really good for uh, fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's also really good for like healing if you have any scars or anything like that. It's really great for that. Um, and so I like this current body mask in particular because it's flexible and I really like that it gets like close to my skin, closer than most of the other masks that I've tried. So I really like that about it and um, that does make a difference. They also have this device which actually can go around your neck and then down your chest and um, erase the fine lines that you have, the fine lines and wrinkles that you have like in your decollete which I have, I have kind of big boobs and you know, when you sleep and you wake up and you have those wrinkles, this will definitely help with that. So it comes with a Velcro strap, which I leave in there because I don't wanna thread it through after I've gotten it on. So what I do is I just kind of hold it in place and I stretch it and then I put the mask over my face and I put this around the back of my head. I position this over my face, kind of make sure my ears are out and then what I do is I tighten this Velcro strap and you can tighten it, you know, real tight <laughs> if you want, but you'll get used to like what your um, comfort level is. So there it is. And then it's got this cord and the cord basically ends in a USB um, plug. And then you plug that into um, this battery pack, essentially. This battery pack is rechargeable. Um, but this lasts a very, very long time. So when I press down and hold, the lights go on and each cycle is 10 minutes, which I also really love because there's another mask that I used where the cycle is really short and you have to just keep <laughs> like turning it back on. So I like to just do like 10 minutes. Um, I'll lay in bed, I'll watch TV. Um, you can definitely see like the red lights here, but you get used to it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. I'll even uh, read on my iPhone or whatever. And it's fairly comfortable. It's a little bit, um, a little bit heavy. 
So it's not like I would do anything too active, uh, like start cleaning up or anything like that. I just kind of lay in bed with it. Um, and like I said, it's got a 10 minute long cycle. Sometimes if I feel like doing it longer, I'll do it for another 10 minutes. Um, that is safe if you want to do it for longer than that. But I really like how comfortable this mask is. And the same goes for this neck one. You just wrap it around. Um, thread the velcro strap through and then tighten it not too tight obviously it's around your neck um, but you also have the option I don't know if you can see these holes here you can actually hang um, a velcro strap there and you can just hang it down if you want to just do like your chest area and not have it around your neck um, so I really like that device because there's a lot of masks out there but there aren't a lot of devices actually for this part of your body which is just as important the skin I feel like on your neck and this area of your chest is like just as thin as your face at least mine is or at least it's getting there <laughs> it's just as thin so I really like that device as well but like I said you know I've been using LED light therapy for a long time now and this is my favorite mask by far so I've been using this right after I wash my face you don't really want any um, skincare products on your skin because uh, sometimes those skincare products can cause light sensitivity or it can have like a reaction to the LED light. So I just like to wash my face, pat it dry, and then I put this on. I lay in bed, I do things, I watch TV, like I said, I scroll on my phone or whatever. And then whenever I'm done with this, then I start my uh, like skincare, the moisturization, the toning and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna turn this off now so I can show you the rest of my skincare routine. So you can just hold that button down, the lights go off. And in terms of charging up this battery pack, I would say, like I said, I've been using this, I would say like every other night on average. I would say I have had to charge this up maybe, maybe once a month. It really lasts a long time, which I think is great. So that is the Current Body LED Mask, and I do have a 20% off coupon code, which I'll flash on the screen now. I'll also um, leave all the information down below in my description box. But if you guys wanna look up LED light therapy, there's a lot of articles online about it. We've got some great YouTube creators that talk about it. I just really like what I see. So I really, really enjoy the benefits of the LED mask. I really think it turns turns the hands of time back. So a big thank you to Current Body for working with me on this video. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue with my skincare routine. So I have washed my face and I've really been enjoying the Make Beauty products. I talked about this when I talked about the Violet Gray Seal. So they have this pre-cleanse fluid, which is uh, like a wonderful makeup remover. It's oil-based, so it gets rid of like waterproof uh, mascara. It gets rid of uh, like really stubborn SPF. Uh, really easily. So I'll start with that and then I've been using their succulent skin wash. So this is their um, serum weight cleanser. It's almost like a light gel, like a liquidy kind of gel. Um, and I've just been washing my face off with that as a second cleanse. Um, and then I'll use my LED mask. And then I always like to tone my face with the La Mer the Tonic or the Retrouve um, Chamomile Toner. I love both of those. So I'll just put it on a cotton pad and just um, gently swipe it over my skin and then I'll grab my Sisley brightening hydrating lotion I use this as it's almost like a skincare primer it's very very lightweight it absorbs into the skin really really quickly and I feel like it just paves the road <laughs> for the rest of my skincare and then I've been kind of like changing up the order of my skincare routine and I've really been enjoying applying oil now because it is thinner than everything else and I feel like that kind of loose rule of applying things that like are thinner to thicker I think is really working out so I'm going to use some of this La Mer oil not too much and La Mer oil is very very thin it's a, actually a really great pairing to their moisturizers which are so so um, moisturizing <laughs> so hydrating and so thick so I'm just going to press this into my skin and then the serum I have been loving is the True Botanicals Chabula Active Immunity Serum. This has been wonderful. I think I mentioned this during the Beautylish gift card event. Um, and I think that's when I purchased this. Yeah, that's when I purchased this. So I'll just take not even this entire dropper, but maybe half of this dropper, like three drops. And it has almost like a honey-like texture. And it's so smooth it's so so smoothing as well and it's just oh it just 
feel so great on the skin. And one of the key words that I remember from reading about this serum is that it's supposed to be a great hydrator and I have very, very dry skin. And now that it's like winter here in Las Vegas, our forced heat, the forced air is so, so strong and I feel like it's just blowing on my skin all night. So I've really been enjoying this. It just feels like um, it's added like a nice layer of protection to my skin. And it's so smoothing. I love it. Love that serum so much. Um, and then I go in with some eye cream. So I have been using the Strivectin eye cream. This is such a nice tightening eye cream. And I just love this cooling tip. Oh, I could sit here and do this all night. And then I've been using this Natura Bisse Inhibit Tenso Lift Neck Cream. And I feel like I immediately see some neck tightening when I apply it. So I apply it to one side of my neck and I feel like my skin looks tighter on that one side. It's like, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm like, am I imagining things? But I've been using this now for at least a couple of weeks and every time I do it, I look at this one side, the one that I do first, and I'm like, this side looks tighter <laughs> than this side. It's crazy. So I've been loving um, this neck cream and I just massage it in. I'll definitely um, like add a little bit more pressure when I'm going up than down. Do you guys see that? Isn't that crazy? I think that's really cool. Anyway, <laughs> that's the Natura Bisse um, Inhibit Tenso Lift Neck Cream. I mean, I don't think the effects are long-term for sure, but yeah, if you just need like a little lift, like if you're going out, yeah, that's pretty great. Um, so I've been using that. And then I set aside my Augustinus Botter, the Rich Cream, which I've been loving. Uh, I also love my La Mer products. I also love my Retrove products, but um, I have been having a little bit of a love affair with Verso Skincare. They are based in Stockholm and um, they have this nourishing cream with niacinamide that I've been using. And I really enjoy it. I think it's really been a nice, change you know it's like i don't think it hurts to change up your skincare routine every once in a while but here's the texture of the cream very very thick it comes out of a pump um and it's not quite as thick as the la mer or the butter but i think it does a really really nice job moisturizing there it is. There's a very light scent to it. I don't even think it's fragrance. I think it's just the ingredients. And that is it. Normally, I just want to say I would have used my droplet device after my toner and the lotion, but I ran out of capsules. Uh, so I have to get more capsules. I use them all. I use them all up. So I have to order some more capsules. But anyway, that is my evening skincare routine. So I am going to hit the sack, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll do our advent calendars then. So I'll see you in just a bit. Good morning. <laughs> Let's hit these advent calendars. So uh, we are on day 21. And day 21 is Mocha Jima from Ethiopia. Oh God. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. Oh, it's freezing. I woke up and it was 28 degrees again, which in Fahrenheit, which I know in Celsius is negative <laughs> something. Okay, so Ethiopia, this is light, medium. It is aromatic, nutty, and whiny. Ah. So let me go ahead and steep this and then we'll hit um, Jo Malone and Diptyque. Okay, here is Jo Malone. Uh, oh, here's 21. We have a votive. Oh, it's the Pomegranate Noir. Mmm, this is a really nice one too. This one's very wintry to me as well. It's sweet, you know, it's fruity with the pomegranate, but then there's like a little bit of, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a smokiness. Ooh, it's lovely. That's so nice. Okay, so that's 21 for Jo Malone. And let's see what we have for Diptyque. One's down here, and we have another votive. <laughs> it's so exciting. Here we have, oh, we have oud. 
Yes, oh, it's so deep and mysterious and a little woody. Mm, that's beautiful. Wow, the diptyque oud is very, very, um, I don't know why I keep thinking of the word aromatic. I mean, all, all scented candles are aromatic, but yeah, it's just, um, it's very like full bodied and, and well rounded and it's not just like, like wood. I feel like a lot of oud can smell very, very just wood, woody and masculine and sort of, I don't know, one dimensional, but this one is, mm, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, very well rounded. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so those are the advent calendars. Miss Butters is still sleeping, so we'll get to her advent calendar in just a bit. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to take a peek at 21, and if it's another lump of coal, I'm gonna actually put a different treat in there. Um, I spread out that one bag of lump of coal um, into like all of the days where they had treats that she couldn't eat because she had uh, pancreatitis. So um, there are some vet-approved treats that I just stocked up on. It's actually going to be part of her Christmas gift. So I may, I may throw those in there. Um, okay, let's see where 21 is. So 21... Oh, 21 is actually a toy. Oh, awesome. Oh my god, she's going to love this. It's like a little sponge. She's gonna love that. Okay, I do not need <laughs> to replace that. Um, awesome. Oh, now I can't wait for her to wake up. All right, ready to plunge this Ethiopian. Okay, cheers. Ooh, it is whiny. <laughs> wow, and very um, woody. Not smoky, but woody. Wait. Uh, aromatic, nutty, and whiny. Oh, that's probably why I kept thinking of the word aromatic when I was talking about that oud candle. Um, aromatic, nutty, whiny. Definitely nutty. I think that's what I'm thinking is like a very, um, almost like a woody, woody kind of scent, uh, flavor. Yeah, very nutty and whiny. This is probably the most uniquely tasting coffee I've had. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had anything like this. Mocha Jima. City of Jima in Ethiopia. I feel like it's uh, more of like a medium dark. It has a very bold, bold flavor. It almost tastes like an herbal coffee. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but like, yeah, like not even like a coffee herbal tea hybrid in a way. That's strange, that's strange. Wow, wonderful. Let me put some milk in. Mm, it's really, really nice with the, um, with the milk. Like the nutty, it's like a creamy nuttiness now. Goodness, two days in a row of like really kind of blow my hair back coffee. Yeah, Santa Spice and Mokajima. All right, while I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee, I thought we'd chat a little. Nothing important, that just sounded really serious. I thought we'd have a little chat. I have to <laughs> clean up this recycling from that PR haul that I did uh, yesterday. So that has to be cleaned up. It's such a mess. So today, what am I doing? I don't really have any plans. Um, I feel like I should do something because last night I got a really good night's rest. <laughs> I passed out at about nine o'clock um, and then I just woke up at 6.30, which is kind of late for me. I woke up at 6.30 and like, it was like one of those, like I closed my eyes at nine and I just woke up at 6.30 feeling like a brand new person. I love that. I love sleeps like that. I don't remember waking up in the middle of the night at all. I don't remember moving, like nothing, no dreams, <laughs> nothing. So I feel pretty good. Yeah, so I feel like I, feel like I should take advantage. I'm feeling good and uh, do something, but all I need to do is kind of like pick up around the house. Um, I did get some, stuff. I showed you some of it at Target. I did get some stuff for um, Christmas. I got a table runner and I got these little like little these little pine trees um, just to put on the table. Um, I got chafing dishes uh, just to keep the food warm so I may set that up. I have to move around what's in my butler's pantry but just stuff like that so you know nothing terribly exciting just a hang out with me. I feel like I need to 
clean my kitchen counter. I love how big my kitchen counter is, but there is always stuff all over it. Like there's the advent calendar, the coffee press. Those are uh, Miss Butter's uh, treats, vet approved treats over there. This is the box of Christmas trees that I got. This is a free tote bag that I got with a Uniqlo order, some candles, another birthday present for, um, not birthday, Christmas present for butters, my bracelets, some Christmas cards. Like there's always just stuff on this counter. And it makes me a little bit crazy, but it's my own fault. <laughs> it's not like it appears there by itself. So anyway, I feel like I just need to tidy up a little bit. Oh, and one thing, sorry, just caught a, caught a glimpse of my face in the viewfinder. Um, one thing, I don't know if I mentioned this last night about the um, LED mask. I'm not sure if I did. Anyway, um, I have a lot of uh, redness here and it's definitely helped with that. I feel like it's helped even out my skin tone here. Yeah, so I just wanted to mention that because I think I forgot. But yeah, that LED mask is, is really, really good. So now I'm wondering <laughs> what candle to light. Such important decisions being made here. What candle should I set on fire this morning? So I've been um, burning my Bayonne candle and this is, mm, it's incredible, but I feel like maybe I should change it up today. I know what I wanna set on fire. This Fornicetti candle that Bobby Brown sent to me. Oh, look at that light pink color. You guys see that? This is beautiful light pink color. Oh, this is such a pretty, pretty scent. I actually have to look up the notes because it's so um, floral and clean and fresh. Mm, it's just gorgeous. Okay, let me light this one. Do you know what this scent, what I visualize? <laughs> Do you guys love my visualizations when I smell something? I feel like I see, I see, when I smell this candle, I see like a very, very slow, dreamlike waking up where the sun is shining and there's, it's like springtime and flowers are in bloom right outside the window. And you're in this like really um, kind of girly like canopy bed and there's tool like strewn over the canopy. That's what I, that's what I envision. You're in this like pretty nightgown. You're just like, oh, like waking up. That's what, that's what I see when I smell this candle. <laughs> <laughs> that whole scene. The distinctive flora fragrance combines notes of ivy, lily of the valley, white rose. I love lily of the valley. <laughs> love it. It's something my mother loves and it reminds me of my mom and like my childhood. Lily of the valley, white rose, orange blossom, sandalwood, and musk. It creates an uplifting white floral bouquet. That is for sure. It is very, very uplifting. So, so incredible. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Are you ready for your advent calendar? Hmm? Are you ready? You're gonna love today's. You're gonna love today's. Hmm? Hmm? How did you sleep, baby? How did you sleep? You slept in. You slept in with daddy. Do you want to put on your teddy bear sweatshirt? <laughs> All right, we're gonna act surprised. What do we have today for day 21? Oh, what, oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. Is this a toy? Is this a toy for the best little girl in the whole world? Hmm? The best little girl ready for her toy? <laughs> it just landed on your face. You don't, you don't like the toy? How do you not like the toy? You want a treat, don't you? You want a treat? Come on, let's go over here for, for one of your vet approved treats. Hmm? What do you say? What do you say? Mmm, delicious. Hey, you ready? Oh, you're gonna catch this. Yeah. <laughs> that was very fast, Butters. Okay, while she's eating, I've got to clean up this kitchen counter. It's making me crazy just looking at it.
little Christmas trees. I, I think I was just talking about them. I didn't realize what a mess they were gonna make. They just shed this green stuff everywhere. I think you guys saw me just cleaning it up and I thought, oh, okay, maybe it's new and it's only gonna happen when they're new, but no, it's like still like happening. <laughs> So I think I may return these because these are going to make, um, I think, a bigger mess than they're worth. Do you guys have these? They're really inexpensive, so I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't think I was expecting them to be shedding like this. This is kind of terrible. to return those little Amazon little pine trees that I got because they just make like way, way too much of a mess. I was like, oh, maybe I can put them on something. It's just not even worth it. So I'm just gonna return those to Amazon. Not really what I was expecting. Okay, so I was, you know, online returning um, that item to Amazon and I just, you know, stumbled onto the new arrival section <laughs> on Nordstrom for beauty and fragrance. And they have this Dyson, what is this, like a flyaway attachment? Look at what it's supposed to do, but look at the actual attachment. I don't understand how that works. It's 40 bucks, should I try it? I do have, um, the dryer and I'm so, intrigued by this oh wait here's a picture oh i thought it was just like a little hook i didn't realize it was this whole thing ah has this been around i know it says new for nordstrom but it could just be new on nordstrom and not actually a new product hmm i may have to try this i'm gonna add to bag well since we're here why don't we just look around a little <laughs> Looking around never hurt anyone. Gosh, I have most of this stuff. Wow, I really have not heard anyone talk about Stila in a very, very long time. That's kind of sad. Moving on. Oh, these aren't new. Are these new colors? Powder, these aren't new colors. Uh, yeah, I always get so confused with Nordstrom because they'll mark something as new, but if it's like new to their website, not necessarily a new product. Do your eyeliners, oh, this is the different kind of eyeliner. They're long wear waterproof eyeliner. I like their 24 hour stilos. I'll stick with those. Buxom. I don't feel like I hear anyone talk about Buxom anymore. Um, waterproof eyeliner. Let's see. Oh, the Sisley tinted lip balms. Those are so good. Pro Curl Lash Comb. I don't have enough lashes for that. No, no, no. Keep moving, Michelle. Ooh, True Botanicals Resurrection Radiance Eye Cream. Oh, I think this was part of their gift set. Yeah, the one that I hauled from Nordstrom. I love True Botanicals. Yeah, that serum has been really, really good. Oh, I just talked about it <laughs> earlier in this video. Um, ooh, Byredo Kajal Pencil. I have the silver one. This is the dark brown. I'm trying to figure out if there's a little bit of a sheen to it. It looks like there is. Oh, that could be interesting. Oh no, that looks like there isn't. Wow. So hard to tell. So hard to tell. Oh no, it does look like maybe there's little flecks in there. Should I get it and try? I'll get it and try. I'm curious because I love like a metallic deep brown eyeliner. I think those are the prettiest. Um... Bobby Brown, Metallic Shadows, Laura Mercier, Cole. Hmm, oh, a replica candle trio. This I haven't seen. What's in here? We've got By the Fireplace, which is great. It's so sweet. Um, Lazy Sunday Morning and Bubble Bath. I have not smelled this bubble bath. That's really nice though, for like a little gift. That's very nice, okay. Ooh, True Botanicals Moisture Lock Glossy Balm. 
my god, I have so many lip balms. Oh, is this new? Argent. This is not new, but I love these metallic eyeliners from Chantecai. Oh, I'm so happy to see that they're back because I think they were, maybe they were limited edition or they were just really hard to find for a while there, but those are great. Ooh, Giorgio Armani Smooth Silk Lip Pencil. One color, <laughs> number two. Okay, maybe I'll I'll wait until more color, colors pop up. Christian Louboutin Velvet Eye Definer. Mel oh, wow. Mellow Cosmetics is on Nordstrom now. God, I remember when they were a big Instagram brand and they had all these nude lipsticks and I think it's either Desi or Katie. Maybe I'm not remembering that correctly. I, I think it's maybe one of them and they were using one of their lipsticks. And this, yeah, this was right when I was starting YouTube. So like 2016, I felt like they had a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, like press on YouTube. <laughs> a lot of attention was made on YouTube, but I don't see their, oh, here they are. Yeah, these lipsticks, creamy matte lipstick. And I remember this bullet because I love this color of it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, wow, well, they have a lot more stuff than I thought. Brow pomade, what's this, powder blush? Interesting, and I think are they from Australia? Because I feel like I tried to order, again, this was back in 2016. I tried to order it and it was shipping from Australia and the shipping was expensive. I think that's what stopped me from getting anything. Oh, but that's nice to see them at Nordstrom. That's really cool. Oh, the Nuco, that's awesome. I like their stuff. Organic balsamic vinegar and olive oil set. This is in beauty and fragrance. Well, that's interesting. I feel like this should be in home. <laughs> Unless it's meant to be used on the body? No, I don't think so. Gucci, Clitipo, I have that. Glossy Pops. Oh, that's cute. Very, very cute. Oh, more Glossy Pops. Oh, how cute, with a little menorah? That's so cute. S Sty I want to say Styrix, but I think it's S Strix? Strix? Concealer Tool. This is a brand I've never heard of. Do they have other things? Oh, wow, they do. Moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, eye tool, bronzing gel, gel cleaner. Oh, interesting, wow. I've never heard of this brand. Ooh, molten brown candles, that's new. I do like molten brown. Salt and stone, saffron and cedar, ooh. My God, Michelle, get away from the candles. Wow, what is wrong with you? What else? Byredo, all in one, eyebrow pencil and refill. I don't think I realized I realized I had a brow product. Let's see, slate, charcoal. Are these pictures accurate? Wait, are all the, is, wait, I'm confused. Okay, so the outer packaging is all the same. I thought it was reflecting actually like the color. I'm sorry, you couldn't see. So the outer packaging, they're all like this brown color, but I thought it was reflecting the actual shade. And I was like, how is this charcoal? <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, should I try this out? Let's see what they have, dusk, sepia, sand, dusk. Dusk looks very dark, charcoal, slate. Maybe slate is the best one for me. I'll try that. Ooh, the Surratt liquid eyeliner, that's my favorite one. The brush tip is so, so good. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, let me sign in and check out. I need to see the total before I make any moves. Yeah, I'm gonna get the two Byredo things and that flyaway attachment. I'm really, really intrigued by that flyaway attachment. Okay, well that was um, an impromptu little shopping trip, <laughs> shopping trip to Nordstrom. I am going to get ready and continue cleaning, cleaning up this downstairs. The counter, it's fine. It's it's not perfect, but it looks a lot better than before. I just have Miss Butter's treats in that bowl in the back, and then I have my bangle bracelet that I just need to bring upstairs. I've got some candles. Um, that's the box I'm returning to Amazon, um, and then just some of these things that we need to eat. <laughs> Napkins, coasters, glass, you know, blah, blah, blah. So yes, I'm gonna go up and shower, and then I'm gonna come downstairs and tackle this pile of recycling. I also have some other recycling like in my filming room and stuff that I need to bring over uh, and just break this all down. 
And yeah, that's it. Wow, this is turning into such an exciting day of tidying up, picking up, breaking down, shopping. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right, I have showered. I actually put on some makeup and uh, I am ready to tackle this pile of recycling. What I'm actually mentally preparing for, my hands are so dry and I've been putting hand lotion on, but like the weather here just gets so cold and so dry so quickly that my hands like just crack. Like even when I just like close my hands, make a fist, uh, like this, I got like this little cut in my hand. That was just from like tightening my fist and I got that little crack. Anyway, I'm mentally preparing for how dry my hands are gonna feel even more so. Um, after, after I break down all these corrugated boxes, but it has to be done. too painful, although I have to say, I've become a real pro at breaking down boxes and taking out recycling. But anyway, I'm gonna cut this blog here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check the description box down below for um, my discount code for Current Body, which is Michelle20, for 20% off uh, their site. And thank you to Current Body for sponsoring this vlog, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's Mishmas video. Bye.